Hey guys, it's Kanye here and welcome back to my channel. And today I'm so excited to be reviewing something that I've been always wanting to try for a long, long time. Alright, so the products are in this Sephora box. So let's unbox them right away. So here they are. The Fenty Skin products. Ta-da! Honest to God, I'm so happy right now. I was so amazed and got immediately attracted to these when Rihanna first announced her brand new skincare line, which is this Fenty Skin. But I can't really stand it anymore, so I really have to grab them and try them out for this review. So I bought all of them through the Malaysia Sephora app during the 20% sales day. So that means each of these products cost 20% off. And you can do the math to check out how much they actually cost after the discount. From their website, it says here that Fenty skincare products are known to be non-comedogenic, which means acne-free and non-clogging on pores, cruelty-free, vegan, and gluten-free. Wow. If you actually have a deep look into their website, Website, Fenty Skin emphasizes a lot on the product sustainability in this skincare world. For example, they are taking in recyclable and reusable packaging. And I'm gonna show you guys more of these along the way. Besides, they look so simple and subtle. They are all like under the color of lilac, which is like, you know, the pixel kind of purple color. It feels so comforting when I look at them. So nice. So I'm just gonna show these products one by one and briefly talk about their functions and also their ingredients. So first off, I got their cleanser. It's called the Total Cleanser. It's the Remove It All Cleanser. Next we have here is the Fat Water, which is the Pore Refining Toner Serum. This is so nice, seriously. So honestly speaking, this Fat Water is the one from this product range that caught my attention the most. I'm just really fascinated by the rose gold color of this essence in the bottle. So this is a two-in-one toner serum combo. It is mentioned here that it gives a better, brighter skin, helps in pore, dark spots reduction, and skin clarification. Instantly reduces oil formation and keeps you from looking shiny all day. Alright, seems like it has tons of benefits here. So moving on to our next one, which is the Hydra Visor. It is an invisible moisturizer with the SPF of 30. Again, now this is a two-in-one moisturizer and sunscreen. Ooh, it's like two-in-one again. So this Hydra Visor provides lightweight, oil-free, and truly invisible on all skin tones. It helps to prevent your skin from dehydration, discoloration, and dark spots formation by protecting your skin from both UVA and UVB rays. So I'm just gonna pop this cat Stretch inside the bottle and twist it below and bada it looks like this oh it says here that it is a makeup friendly product which means it can act as a primer or a base for your makeup it is also a chemical type of sunscreen which does not produce white cast after using it most importantly this hydro visor is environment friendly as it is made with care to protect the coral reefs this product doesn't contain chemicals like oxybenzone and Octinoxate. These are the compounds that can damage the coral reefs, so it is a plus point for this product. Lastly, we have this Instant Reset. It is a gel cream moisturizer that Rihanna creates specifically as a night cream for your bedtime skincare routine. This product infuses skin with a surge of instant and up to 8 hours of hydration. Helps to improve skin conditions such as fine line wrinkles. It sort of acts like a collagen product that helps to strengthen the skin's elasticity. So the list of ingredients found from this product are almost similar to the products that I've shown earlier. So this product comes with a flip top lid and there's a spatula inside here. So if you're afraid of getting this product contaminated, you can actually apply it with using this spatula. There's this outer jar and an inner jar. So I'm going to insert the inner one into the outer one. So make sure you're gonna push this thing down at the bottom like this. <gasps> Guys, I can smell it. It smells so nice. So I'm gonna like peel this thing properly to make sure it's not gonna spill. To be very careful not to pull this thing up. Ah, this is the cream. It looks like this. And I'm going to twist the lid back on. I'm gonna try this one out during my nighttime skincare routine. So we're gonna start with the cleanser and I'm gonna have to put this on the top of my hair. For this product, it offers both. And I find this product really convenient as it's providing a faster solution to remove your makeup and cleanse your face at the same time. So I have a full face of makeup right now. Let's see if it can actually wash away everything off my face. All you need to do is to just twist the cover and squeeze the product out. So I already wet my face. I'm gonna squeeze out this product here. I've never really wet my face before with makeup on. Ooh. 
so it's like this. It has this peachy color and it's like creamy as well. Oh, and it smells like coconut too. So I'm just gonna like put it on my face. I hope this product is going well because I've never tried using a double cleanser. It consists of natural ingredients such as Barbados cherry which contains vitamin C that helps in skin brightening, ginkgo biloba that helps in oil control and skin clarification, green tea and fig that is rich in antioxidants and both helps in skin soothing, lastly quince that contains beneficial minerals for skin cooling and calming. It also says here that it helps to purify the pores and smells like cherries and coconuts. Wow, sounds really natural. Yes, this is me without makeup now. So I'm done washing my face. I kind of feel like my skin is a bit brighter. And so far it feels good, but there's a little bit of a mascara smudge here. It didn't came off. I guess this cleanser is not really suitable for waterproof makeup. I'm just going to use my own oil makeup remover. So now we know that this product doesn't really cleanse off waterproof makeup. The next step is I'm going to apply this fat water on my skin. This works by twisting the product up as well. And I'm going to put it on my hands. Just squeeze the bottle a bit and let it flow. So it looks like this. Oh my god, it's flowing so fast. It's like really transparent. It's flowing down. So the texture of this product is just exactly like serum. Not really anything like toner anyways. Because it's a bit thick. And it has a really strong fragrance as well. I'm just gonna gently pat all over my face. It contains niacinamide which is a form of vitamin B3. Australian lemon metal and witch hazel water to reduce face oil and pore refining Japanese raisin for skin detoxification Cactus flower for dehydration and lastly Barbados cherry, green tea and fake So there are a lot of natural ingredients indeed So here's one fact I'm usually against the idea of using cotton pad especially for skincare application I know that some products require us to apply with cotton pad To me it's like a hassle using cotton pads and you have to discard them away after using and thus this will generate more waste that further destroys the environment This product has quite strong fragrance and I'm not so sure if it can actually affect my skin so we shall see how it goes Alright so the next one would be the moisturizer and sunscreen step So how you're gonna use it is you're gonna twist this thing up and just pump it oh so here we go so it looks like this it's like light pinkish color and it smells good as well it smells like cherries there are several main ingredients from this product including Kalahari melon which is a wild watermelon fruit that's rich in antioxidants and vitamins to help in hydration Hyaluronic acid and aloe both helps in hydration and soothing Baobab, an African tree that bears nutrient-rich superfood and also helps in hydrating the skin And lastly, niacinamide I just want to say that this has actually really strong fragrance and so far it has not left any white cast it's like my original skin tone besides you can keep this bottle after you've finished using the sunscreen and reuse again by buying another refill and place it back in it's really environment friendly see it's like super convenient now I finally understand why almost everybody is so hyped about this brand so I'm gonna continue using these products for around like two weeks to check and see whether there are any differences or any improvements on my skin okay I'm back from using this range for more than a month and I'm going to give my own reviews on these First off, I would say this range is totally incredible as most of them offers two-in-one function which brings a lot of convenience. It's probably my first time using products like this so let's start off with this total cleanser here. First of all, I think this cleanser comes in handy as it can help in removing makeup and cleanses your face at the same time. You just immediately dive right into the shower, wet your face and apply this product and that's it. And by means, rub the product on your wet hands until it starts to foam up and then you can only apply it on your face. I kind of did it wrongly during my first trial earlier in this video as I thought that this product here is a gel type of cleanser that doesn't foam up. My skin doesn't feel tightened or different after using this product. It's comfortable. So for this product here, I think it works well as a cleanser but not really much of a makeup remover. It is not really suitable for makeup looks that has non-waterproof cosmetics on it like non-waterproof mascara or non-smudging eyeliner. I had to apply an oil makeup remover first and then only I can proceed with using this cleanser. 
I use this product during evening and before bedtime as I would love my skin to be free of makeup and everything before I proceed to my bedtime skincare routine. So far I would say that this is a good product for me. It would be even better if the skincare can remove all kinds of makeup products on the face. So for the toner serum, I think this product is very amazing and to me my skin feels pretty fine with it. I love it when it's a combination of both toner serum together. It helped my skincare routine a lot faster and the packaging makes it really convenient to be used. Unlike certain toners that I've used before, this product doesn't leave my skin feeling prickly or scaly. I did have past experience before with certain toner brands that I used. I had to give it like a few days or a week timeline for my skin to adapt to the new toners as my skin reacted quite badly towards them. But for this toner serum here, my skin adapts really well immediately when I first started using it. So I'm using this product during day and night. This product settles smoothly on my skin as my skin absorbs it right away without leaving any problems. Problems. My skin tone did improve and evens out a lot as compared to before using this product and hence this is by far the most favorite product for me among this range. So then we have the Hydra Visor. Again, it's a two-in-one moisturizer and sunscreen that helps my morning skincare routine a lot faster and easier. So I do suggest this product to the people that tends to skip the sunscreen step because wearing sunscreen every day is really important, not just when you're heading out of the house and even staying in as well. I usually apply this in the morning and and during evening after my bath time. I am really impressed with this product as it offers two functions in one bottle and again the packaging function is also quick and easy to use. It does really help with the skin hydrating part and doesn't leave any white cast after using it. However, there's just one thing from this product. Although it does leave a dewy finish on the skin, my skin becomes oily after some time, especially at the T-zone areas. If you're bothered by getting oiled up on a face in the middle of the day, well this product might not be really well suited it for you. I do hope that in the future, Fenty Skin might release a moisturizer sunscreen that doesn't really oil up the skin too much. Lastly, for the Instant Reset Night Cream, I would just say that at first when I started to use it, it gives out really strong scent and fragrance. But as time passes, I just got used to the fragrance and it doesn't really bother me anymore. It does smell fruity like lush tropical fruits and flowers as stated in the website. I'm not really someone that uses an applicator during my skincare routine as I prefer to keep it simple by using my hands on this product. Until now, I've never used this patilla, not even once. After all, I'm the only one using this product. But the product here says it's lightweight. Yes, I do agree with it as compared to other kinds of night cream. They might have thicker texture as compared to this instant reset night cream. It all depends on how much you're applying this product so the more you apply the thicker it goes. Anyways, this whole product gives out a watery creamy texture instead of a gel creamy one which is supposed to be thicker. So whenever I wake up in the morning, my skin feels hydrated, it still feels moisturized after a night's sleep and yes, it does feel more even toned as compared to before. After a month's trial on this, so far I don't really see any changes or reductions on my pores but yes, I do feel like my skin has tightened a little. For wrinkles wise, not really. Well, I'm gonna continue using this product for a month or two to check and see whether there will be any differences in the future. We shall see. So overall, if you ask me how many am I gonna rate for this Fenty skincare line, I'm gonna give it like a 7 to 8 out of 10. This product range is suitable for skincare starters and for the ones who are looking for skincare products that offers easy to use and convenience. The price is not too expensive for a high-end skincare brand like this, providing that most of these products here have two-in-one functions. I would like to highlight that this product range contains many natural ingredients that are highly beneficial to the skin. The packaging designs here offer convenience to the consumers and they can be recyclable and reusable as well. I just think that the products here are well suited on my skin, maybe except the Hydra Visor that I have to watch out on the dewy finish. Well, surprisingly, I don't have any negative reactions while using this range especially when all of these products here exerts a strong scent. So if you're someone like me that has calitis which is a form of inflammation on the lips, this range is okay and safe to be used. So what about you guys? Have any of you tried the Fenty Skin range yet? If you have, do tell me your experiences because I would love to hear all kinds of opinions towards this range. Drop your comments down below the comment section so that we can have more point of views from everyone. So that's all from my today's video. I hope you guys like it. Please do share and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for more. So I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys. Day off during Malaysia. Oh my god, shut up. Besides, they look so simple and subtle. Subtle? Subtle. Australian lemon mitro. Mitro. Mitro.
Australian lemon mirto. How do how do I pronounce that? So now we know that this. The next product is the Fanny Beauty. I just didn't really like the light. Like rain. 